Grams and Kilograms, Lesson 8.8. .8. Grams and Kilograms are weights in the metric system. Here's a list of things that weigh about one gram. A sheet of paper, a metal paper clip, a stick of gum, a dollar bill. Each of these things weighs about one gram. So that's not very heavy, is it? Here's kilograms. Each of these weighs about one kilogram. A pineapple, a hammer, a cantaloupe, and two pounds of butter. So that would be like eight sticks of butter, wouldn't it? Oh, closer to nine. But that would be about one kilogram. And the abbreviations are gram is just a G and kilogram is kg. There's a thousand grams in one kilogram. A thousand grams equals one kilogram, okay? So we know the kilogram is the heavier one because that would be the hammer and the gram would be the paper clip or stick of gum, right? So we know the kilogram is heavier. So let's see, do these items weigh more or less than one kilogram? So remember a kilogram is about the weight of a hammer, okay? So for a vacuum cleaner, do you think a vacuum cleaner is more or less than a kilogram? Is it more or less than a hammer? Well, vacuum cleaners can get pretty heavy. I would say more. If you said more, you're probably right, okay? Depends on the type of vacuum, right? Could be a little handheld one that weighs the same as a hammer, but we're talking about a regular vacuum cleaner, okay? How about a bar of soap? Do you think that weighs more or less than a kilogram? A bar of soap isn't very big, is it? So if you think a bar of soap is less than a kilogram, you're right. How about one apple? Do you think one apple is more or less than a kilogram? Remember, a kilogram is about how much a hammer weighs. Well, apple isn't as heavy as a hammer, so an apple would be less than a kilogram, wouldn't it? It would weigh less than a hammer. How about a refrigerator? Refrigerators can be pretty big to hold a lot of food. How big is the one in your kitchen? Do you think it weighs more or less than a kilogram? Well, if you said more, you're right. They can be pretty heavy, can't they? All right, let's see about how much would each object weigh? Do you think a pencil weighs about three grams or three kilograms? Now remember, one gram is about the weight of a paper clip and a kilogram is about how much a hammer weighs. So if you said three grams, you're right, because a pencil doesn't weigh very much, does it? It's just made of wood and it's pretty light, isn't it? What about a hair dryer? Do you think a hair dryer, a blow dryer, weighs about one gram or one kilogram? Well, if you said one kilogram, you're right. A hair dryer can weigh about as much as a hammer, can't it? And that would be one kilogram. How about a light bulb? Do you think a light bulb weighs seven grams or seven kilograms? Well, if you said seven grams, you're right. Light bulbs don't weigh very much, do they? All right, so let's do a review of what we've learned so far about how long or tall would each of these objects be. Would a book be about 10 inches, 10 feet, or 10 yards? Well, if you said 10 inches, you're right. A book would be about 10 inches. What about a wall? Do you think a wall would be three inches tall? three feet tall or three yards tall? Well, if you said three yards, you're right, because each yard is three feet, isn't it? So that would be three plus three plus three. That would be about nine feet up for a wall. That would be about right. How about a U.S. mailbox? You remember seeing those, right? They have a rounded top and they're, they're blue. Do you think it would be one centimeter tall or about one meter tall? Well, if you said one meter, you're right. One centimeter is only about that big, isn't it? That would be a little tiny mailbox for a little doll. How about a hairbrush? Do you think a hairbrush would be 20 centimeters or 20 meters? Now remember, a centimeter is about that big. So if you said about 20 centimeters, you're right. 
the hairbrush was 20 meters, we wouldn't even be able to pick it up, would we? All right. Now, I showed you this before in lesson 8.5, and we talked about lengths in metric, in the metric system, and we talked about centimeters and how you look at the beginning, milli, centi, deci, but they all end with meters, don't they? Meters at the end. See the word meters at the end of every single one of these? And every group of 10 makes a new size. So for length, we could go from 10 centimeters to one decimeter. Once we get to 10 decimeters, we got to 10 meters. We got to one meter. See? And when it gets up to 10, then it goes to decameter. When those get up to 10, it goes to hectometers. And when that gets up to 10, it goes to kilometer, right? Well, in weight, it does the same thing. If you look, it's all based off of a gram. We can have milligrams, centigrams, decigrams, grams, then decagrams, and that's usually spelled with a K, hectograms, and then the kilogram, see? And every time we get 10 of them, it moves to a new size. See that? That's how the metric system works. So, a thousand grams is one kilogram, okay? That's what we talked about before, right? So we're going to continue on talking about measures. And now we're going to talk about volume and capacity. All right? That means how much things can hold. All right? I'll see you next video. Bye.